All right, welcome to the video. I've had a lot of questions about how do I get into cybersecurity? How do I become a SOC analyst from your professional opinion, Mike? Today, we're gonna to answer that question. Some of it's gonna feed off of my friend Ben's episode where we discuss the pathway into the SOC. So I'm gonna give you my short condensed version and I will follow it with a challenge to anyone out there listening. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the video today. So this video is assuming you have a college degree. Now we're not going to get into the pros and cons of degrees. Um, if you want the biggest selection or the biggest opportunity out there for getting into cybersecurity, a college degree is a requirement. You will find life a little bit harder without it. So we are going to start with the assumption that you have a degree. Now, with that degree, a lot of things are left out from your education for most programs out there. So most people getting a degree, things are left out. And that is practical hands on experience that is relevant to today's workforce. Relevance is the key here, you're learning stuff. And a lot of it just isn't applicable, or it's just left at the fundamentals. And they're expecting you to learn way more to fill in those blanks. Now, how do we do that? That is what all this is about. So my goal here is to one, get your resume into the hands of a real person, right? A challenge in its own self, you into an interview with a real person, and then three, you knocking out that interview because you know so much, you're so comfortable with the content and you are a pro at this point. So that's our goal. That's where we're taking you with this video. All right, the next step is you need a certification. I don't care what people are saying out there that certifications suck. There's no room for them. You don't need a certification these days. The plain truth is you need a certification on that resume. Not only that, but you need one that is respected and well known. It has to have some kind of utility out there. People have to know about it. That's that's the key here. They know about this thing. So uh, what that is, I recommend the Security Plus. So this is a CompTIA certification that says, hey, I know the fundamentals of cybersecurity. And the reason I recommend this is because if you do a search, and I challenge you to do this, go do a search of all the job listings for SOC analysts, what uh, certifications pop up the most. Sec Plus is gonna be hands down the winner and you're gonna see a lot of and or equivalent to the SEC plus. So think about that. All right, now you're gonna get this, you're gonna knock it out, done. We're gonna move on to hands-on stuff after this because Security Plus is not hands-on. Yes, there's a few hands-on components, but it's not real hands-on. We need to get your hands dirty. You need to start utilizing tools that you would use in the workplace. And that is where Hack the Box Labs come in. Okay, so we're gonna start out with getting the basics before we tackle a hands-on certification. So this means I want you to take an introductory course and they have the HTV Academy. I want you to go in there. I want you to sign up for SOC Analyst Prereqs. This is gonna teach you everything you need to know to start out with for operating systems, network traffic, the basic stuff you need to know to actually start learning about the actual job materials. Once you knock that out, I want you to take the SOC Analyst course next. These will all be free within Hack the Box. It's a little bit easier if you pay for a subscription. Well, quite a bit easier so you can get access to a uh, virtual machine where you can do all your work from. Um, I will tell you that I have come across quite a few people, my cousin uh, to be exact, and then another person I mentor where their laptop's not, not quite powerful to host VMs. And so you need to rely on something else, another tool, and Hack the Box does that for you. It's much better than Try Hack Me as we just had an experiment today. Way better, not slow, actually works, Hack the Box go in there and you don't really have to worry about the how good your computer system is for that. If it's running well, you have a browser, you have a good internet speed, you're good to go. All right, now, once you have knocked out both those courses, they are pretty lengthy, but they're a lot cheaper than taking paying for a full course somewhere else. All you're doing is paying for a subscription if that's what you're paying for. Now, the next thing, this is something that is going to be a resume builder. 
this is going to be blue team level one and it is the most well-known blue team certification outside of sans and GIAC certifications okay and it is by the way way cheaper significantly cheaper like a fraction of the cost and the exam is actually hands-on where GIAC exams are just like normal traditional exams written exams okay now so right now, just to recap, we have SEC Plus, knock out the two HTP Hack the Box Academy courses, and then do Blue Team Level 1 because it's well known. Then this is where you start niching down and start working on your own projects at this point. And you should be building a portfolio, uh, up a portfolio on maybe GitHub or your own website where you can show off the work you're doing. So do that with blogs where you're researching or talking through the work you're doing. GitHub, where you're putting together, you can host your work on there, but if you're writing any code, it would go there, obviously, and these will be great. Now, the important thing for all of this, it should be on your resume. Um, just because these HTB academies are not a certification doesn't mean you shouldn't put it on your resume. You need to put it in uh, additional education, other training, create a section where you're putting labs. So if you go into Hack the Box uh, later and do an additional coursework, all these things should be under that additional training on your resume. People like me who are leaders in the space look for people who are spending their time learning their craft, honing their craft and getting better at what they do. Um, if you're kind of like, oh, I don't even know where I would start or what I should be working on. That's cool. You can do other pathways as well. Uh, maybe think about doing the penetration tester uh, pathway. I will say from personal experience, because I'd bounce back and forth between offensive and defensive in my career, that you become a much better blue teamer when you understand the attacker. So maybe even consider doing a pin testing uh, pathway and adding that to your resume over doing a project. But at this point, you should know what you're talking about. You should be able to nail interviews really well. Uh, and you should have the credentials on your resume to catch people's eyes in order to get that interview. So the last challenge that I want to throw out is if you do not agree with any of these tips today, please hop on my podcast and make an argument, make a case. I am willing to change my mind, but from what I've seen, my goal is to get people into a sock position as time efficient, prepared as possible, and these are both cheap and cost efficient. So please, uh, definitely comment below if you know something better. If you're feeling really froggy, hop on the podcast and let's have a conversation about what you think is better. All right, until next time, we'll see you in the next video.